the uh, DE food truck from Austin, Texas. We have been closed because of the coronavirus and I have been working on my garden like crazy. Uh oh, I see a worm. You have to stay positive. Like, you know, I never get a chance to garden this much before. This is the first time in four years we've that had we, play time. To, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, we always work, work, work. I'm going to cook dinner tonight, and what do I need? I need mint cilantro, I go pick it. I need zucchini, I go pick it. Did you get all my zucchini? You know the good camera man. <laughs> Look at that. Hi, everyone. I'm Lakanai here with Mango, my dog. I just keep working in my garden every day, especially when we were not working. I was just the entire day. Yeah, I mean, it was the entire. <laughs> it was like from like sunrise to sunset. I enjoy seeing her out there with her big gardening hat on, with her puppy just following her around. Yeah, the he's very cute. He's just yeah. my good buddy. Coronavirus kind of started going crazy and everything shut down. So we've been closed for almost two months. I, I'm not gonna lie, I mean, there were moments where it was kind of tough, you know, and dark. I mean, you're kind of, I mean, can't believe that this is going on. All the work and energy we put into the business and now it's like gone to nothing overnight. It is also like an unknown because you don't know what's gonna happen. We just recently slowly reopened doing only dinners. We only do online ordering now. We're just trying to protect ourselves, so we're wearing masks no matter what. We're just trying to survive this craziness and just kind of get through it right now. Right here is my celery. I have it over a year now, and I've been cooking with it. Mango, no, baby, no, no, It's baby. always my dream, garden and cook. She's always cooking these dishes at home for us, yeah. you know, to <laughs> eat. And I'm like, oh my God, we got to share this. We have to put this on the menu. Thai salad is spicy, it's sour, it's sweet, it's a lot of flavor into it, and it's very refreshing. This is cilantro, and look at the cilantro root. It's so beautiful. If you go to grocery store here, they cut it off, because people here probably don't use it. But in a Thai cuisine, we use a lot of cilantro root. We put it in the sauce. So we have our fish that we cut up. So I'm just going to add some flour to it. You don't need a lot, just a little bit. You don't want to dry the fish off because you kind of want it a little bit wet. And we're going to fry it. Now I'm going to use spatula to just kind of break it out. And I'm going to put a lid on top of it because when it's starting to cook, it's going to pop like, like a rocket. It's going to make a mess so. so I think our fish is ready. Nice and golden, crispy. Take it out. And now we are ready to make our fish salad. Fish and some carrot stick, cilantro, and some celery, and some red onion, some scallion. Look at that color, so beautiful. This sauce has Thai chili, cilantro root, and fish sauce, and lime juice, and palm sugar. Okay, you just mix it all together like that. And that's it. We got our beautiful summer salad. This one is shrimp with zucchini and herbs from my garden. When I first moved here, I didn't understand that it's seasonal. You know, you have to start your seeding so early that you can plant it in the spring. Because in Thailand, you plant whenever you want. It's tropical. It's so nice. But you move here, you know, you gotta you gotta learn all the season. So I have banana here. Banana is just like. It reminds me of home because we have bananas like a jungle there. We just grow it and then leave it there. It's just there. I'm from Loyet. It's Isan. It's Northeast Thailand. I learned gardening from my family. My mom and my dad, they're farmers. And they're very happy to see me doing this in America. My mom was laughing at me because of this banana plant right here that survived through the winter and it's still so small. She was like, why your banana is so small? And I was like, okay, you know, it will grow. I have here a sage. Um, I don't really use it at the food truck, but my mother-in-law, she cooked with it for Thanksgiving, and so I planted it. Hopefully I can use it for this Thanksgiving. This is the 
this is the first time in four years we've that had we, free time. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, we always work, 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 and, you know, you never realize because you're so busy and you're so caught up. Then, you know, the corona come, it's not good in many ways. It also gives us so much time to, like, spend together and rethinking what really matters, you know. You look out there, it's not just us. It's, it's everybody. It's everybody, you know, yeah. we in this situation together. And I think it's a step back to refocus what really, like, important to us, you know, and what we're gonna do in the future.